Hey there. How you doing, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube? This is Don Schmidt, the Book Kahuna, coming at you with another publishing war story. Now, I've actually discussed this particular person in detail in a previous war story, but, um, you know, sometimes these war stories, they, they have the, a life of their own because the people involved, you spent like a lot of time at particular companies, so they were able to amass massive amounts of information and events that could be used in a publishing war story. So today, I'd like to talk about one where my ex-wife and I had met working together at a particular company and we had a lot of friends in this particular company and so when we were planning our wedding we went over the list of invitees and who we were going to bring and who we weren't going to bring and and it came down to well do we invite the bosses and I said politically speaking since all of the high-ranking bosses knew both of us because she was a graphic designer and I was working in production manufacturing so we we dealt with each other very closely all the time we decided to invite all of the you know boss my boss and his boss now I took a few days off before the wedding and when the date was coming up before I left I actually went into both of my bosses and said hey you know I'm gonna be off for a couple weeks now you know the wedding and then the honeymoon you know I'll see you on you know Saturday on the wet at the wedding and both of my bosses were like yes yeah we're gonna be there no problem me and my wife were really looking forward to it so comes the day of the wedding go through the ceremony you know a lot of the the office people friends and stuff didn't come out to the church for the for the ceremony but um, get to the re reception and start going around to the different tables and saying hello to people and I get to the all of my closest work people table and there's two empty seats and you know, I know who the two empty seats are, so I asked some of the people, so, you know, where is so-and-so? And they just kind of looked at me. Um, this particular person decided to, you know, blow off my wedding. Um, he and his wife blew off my wedding. Now, there was another previous incident that had given me the opportunity to start actually interviewing and looking for another job outside of this particular company and I had gotten a job offer right before I got married so I didn't really make a move but once my boss didn't show up at my wedding I immediately even from my honeymoon made a phone call to my prospective new manager at the new company and said I'm in I'll, I'll be there I'm in so I finish up my my honeymoon come back to work and my boss's boss this was my boss's boss who did this comes over and you know gives me a wedding gift like a wedding card and basically in the card uh, paid for he and his wife's dinner at my wedding. They didn't come, they didn't, you know, so, all right. So after he did that, about an hour later, I went into his office and gave notice. And then, okay, he had the nerve to go downstairs to a different floor where some of the people who were actually at my wedding worked and started bad mouthing me in front of executives because 
I went on my honeymoon and came back and gave notice after he blew off my wedding. Now, needless to say, this guy is the VP of DB, okay? Now, if you know what DB is, it's a feminine product. So, I'm sorry, but you got to call these people out. And there's going to be a lot more of these videos because I've got a lot more to say and a lot more fingers to point at people who are just incredibly bad, bad, bad corporate entities and they treat their employees like garbage and they get away with it. And you know what? That shouldn't be like that. So another publishing war story. Hey. If you have people who are your subordinates, you don't blow off their wedding. And then you don't get pissed off at them when they give notice because you're a DB. Okay? That's the deal. And if you're going to be a DB, do it and don't act like you're like everybody's buddy because you're not. You're a DB. So, again, Don Schmidt, The Book Kahuna with another publishing war story. And I will give you a hint, this was when I was working in Manhattan, okay? So, if that gives you a hint on where this was, and it's a very large company. Anyway, till the next one, talk to you later. Bye-bye.